favorite, 37.5, the over-under. And Brandon Aubrey to send us into the night. Corbin lets it bounce, got some backspin on that kick. Now Reggie Corbin picks it up, breaks across the 25-yard line. Couple tacklers on him, and they will start right there at the 25. With six, shotgun look, Lenore in motion, back to the ground game. Here's Corbin, and he's stuffed in the backfield. Lucky to just get back to the line of scrimmage there. Yeah, I'll say you have big Seth Thomas out here making plays, just getting in the backfield. Nice little quick tackle. Hey, sometimes you don't have to be the first one in the backfield to make the tackle. Here, who really didn't trust his kicker even for extra points. He was going for two from 56 yards out and through. So you get the extra roster spots, and Coach Fisher was aggressive going, I got I to gotta add on to my special teams what he believes in most. He signs Cole Murphy, who was two for two a week ago, and now from 55-plus, right through the sticks. Go get him, Mr. Murphy. We're back on the outside, exactly what Coach Fisher is looking for. Here's Smith, empty set, looking left, and has a man complete, and Marlon Williams, who steps out with the first down. I said Marlon Wilson going in for the for the seam like a seam and then come, came out to the out towards the boundary. Uh, you're just talking about Jamison Houston being just that physical corner. He was trying to strip the ball out, get him. Change the pace, coming in for Scarborough, more of the receiving option. Smith looking across the middle, complete. Here's Osiris Mitchell, who's still working down the field, inside the 30-yard line, down to the 25 with a second effort. And the Stallion's in business. I say you got Big Mitchell coming across the middle. He's getting a big snag, and then he's just working. Keeping his legs moving, letting his boys come in, give him some momentum. Got twins to either side of Smith. Looking left. And that pass is dangerous, trying to get it to Victor Bolden and cannot. Burrell, step for step, defensively. I said Jalen, Jalen saw that, Jalen Burrell saw that coming, knew exactly what he was doing, decided to cut inside on the play. You got to come up with those. When it hits you in both hands, you usually have to catch that. He may still be running, he got his hands on that right, one right look. there. After this, after this, he's going to be on the sidelines like, I should have caught you. 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 Nope, next play. Just forget about it. Make it up in the long run. Here's Brandon Aubrey. And Aubrey, the converted soccer player, makes his whole gridiron thing look easy. Burrow in the backfield and shotgun back to the air. Smith has a man complete. He breaks loose. And Osiris Mitchell in for the touchdown. Broke one tackle, that's all he needed. Puts that speed on display for a 30-yard strike. Osiris was just a little quick hitch. What was that, a seven? Seven and back. A little quick, in. Comes right back for the ball. As soon as he gets it, makes a play, and we're off to the races. Hey. Three on third down are the Panthers. Patterson, clean drop, protection now breaks down. He tries to scramble away, but it's DeMarcus Gates who has been all over the place lately for the Stallions with another set. Good save, Powell. I said the Stallions, Stallions lead the league in sacks, so I'm just waiting. It's only due time. When you've got DeMarcus Gates fighting in here, just pushing by and making a sack, that's how you do it. You clean it up. Used to see. Third and long here for Smith. Sets up. Now has to find a new location to throw from and does. Looking down the sideline. And that pass is intercepted if the feet were in bounds. And they're going to say out of bounds. Going to bring up a fourth and ten anyway. And the punt group trots onto the field as the refs have a conversation about that sideline. It was Ballard who got there and tried to get his feet in. What'd you see here? Back up, back 
every DB is going to say it's always in. I don't know from, from when he caught it, but that's a I'll say that looks like heck a heck of a toe drag, if you will. I think it was just a little step outside. But you got to go for the Tony two tap. Patterson across the middle to Lenore on a slant route, and Lance Lenore goes inside the 10. Working on Brian Allen on the outside, gain of 15. Lance Lenore finding the hole, a little seven and in. That's a great little intermediate route by Lance Lenore. Mario, he's up under the center right here. He'll go quarterback sneak. Patterson. And get it in. Can he finish the job? Still waiting on the signal. And yes, in for the touchdown. So the third down run gets it closer. The fourth, in for the score. What I tell you, two yards out, ain't no way. Less than a yard, you can find a way. If there's a will, there's a way. Shea Patterson did just that. You know, you force the issue, your offensive line gives you the extra surge, you can get a half yard. What are you thinking as a defender, quarterback sneak? If it's not somebody like Cam Newton or Ben Rosenberger, we lighten you up regardless. Yeah. Get a touchdown. We try to take a shoulder off. But you see Shea Patterson finding his way right in, getting pushed. Quick surge. It was a no-brainer there. So the break serves the Panthers well. That is a true hate to see it kind of play. Here's Smith, third and five. Moves to his right. Now back to his left. Smith, see if he will run Cam Jordan, and he does. This time breaks loose inside the 25. You like that a little better? Hey. All, I look, all, all, the, all the daylight he saw, he finally take a little hit. Run for it, young man. I see what you're doing out there. Show the wheels, because he's clearly elusive in the pocket. He finally makes the decision to take off, and it's a first down. Gain of 13 on the run. He was playing there in Buffalo. Now they're talking about fade. You know exactly what to do. They're, they're going to target Here's him. Smith closer to the outside. It's complete to his tailback, Tony Brooks James. He's that pass catching option. Had a little dance there in the end zone. They were telling you exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted to go ahead and get a little fade route. You got number 20, Tony Brooks James, just going straight out here for a nice little wheel. Top shoulder fade. Great catch. Was able to, was able to turn up for the touchdown. Receiver block. This is a team effort. I mean, we got a great, nice little, nice yeah. little uh, look. We just mentioned he's by himself, short side of the field. Patterson scrambling out. Eyes still up the field, slings it, and that pass is caught down the field by Joe Walker, rising to make the play for his quarterback and move those chains with a gain of 14. I mean, we talk about looking comfortable in the pocket. Shea hit a little half circle spin. Opened up his hips, was able to find his man down the field for the extended play. Joe Walker, of course, goes to high point the ball, comes down with it. That's that's major. Patterson, man in motion, standing tall in the pocket, pass complete. It's Devin Ross. And Devin Ross will not be stopped in for the touchdown, Michigan. And we got a tight game as the fourth quarter approaches. 14-yard touchdown strike by Ross. I say Ross gives him a little hezzy, inside move. Quick touchdown hit with the lock gritty. I see you, Devin Ross. It's time. Field and Magoo. Magoo gives it to Scarborough. He has all kinds of space. Scarborough into the secondary, leaps for the end zone. And in for the score. Touchdown, Birmingham. Oh, he earned that one. He earned that one. Thought he was going between tackles. He bounced outside. And again, he's been finding success all day on those edges. Once he hit the outside, it's been a race. And then he leaped from, was that the five? Well, let's call it the four. That's still 12 feet. For there. Now steps back onto the sideline. Here's Patterson. That pass deflected and then intercepted. Right in the heart of that defense. 
multiple defenders around the football, and it's Johnny Newsom who comes up with it. Never a doubt, ball came right toward him and snagged it out of the air. And if you thought Fisher was hot before, Patterson threw it right into Yorbury, and then Johnny Newsom is Johnny on the spot. Man, I'm having fun with this. Here we go. Magoo himself this time, and in for the touchdown. They sent him the T-bone and just kept force feeding it. If you can't stop it, you're gonna make it pay. And there you go, drawing blood with the touchdown. And somewhere Fielding Yost is smiling. Pop Warner, Walter Camp, some old school names. The T-bone, great block by the center. Hey, it's Trey Patterson. Thanks for watching this USFL video. For the best USFL fan experience, subscribe below and gain access to the best football content on planet Earth.